transmitting to you from Old Heart Radio. That's right. This is another episode of Coffee and Contemplation, your most least consistent podcast on Old Heart Radio. Why? Well, because I claimed it. Uh, This is your host, Old Heart, a.k.a. Jared, a.k.a. Call me whatever the fuck you want. Names are irrelevant. Fight me. Uh, (laughs) I'm feeling spry. I'm feeling spunky. Uh, You know, just got off my uh, ass for a second and decided to record. So here I am. (laughs) <laughs> my god yep it's true everybody knows it besides me besides you we're all here i'm here at least <clears throat> all right so as you probably noticed from the title of this podcast it is curry your current events catch up uh it's, you know one hot a hot dog is not complete without ketchup, so this is for you, hot dogs. Uh, today, I just wanted to focus on a couple of like pretty important things, in my opinion: uh, the coronavirus, and uh, we'll talk about you know politics for a little bit. Uh, but first, I want to talk about the coronavirus. So, so far in the U.S., at least, there has been six deaths. All within King County, Washington, which is very close to where I live in Washington as well. Uh, <laughs> maybe I have it. I'm just joking. I don't want to joke about that. I don't want the coronavirus. No bad juju here. Uh, to all you hot dogs out there, I hope none of you have the coronavirus. If you do, we have plenty of podcasts for you to listen to while you're quarantined. Uh, just go to Old Heart Radio on Spy- on Spotify or iTunes. or uh, Follow us on Twitter at Old Heart and Space. Oh, and, and look us up on Instagram at Old Heart Radio. Uh, there you go. Uh, just that one's for you, uh, for any hot dog who has uh, the coronavirus. Coincidentally, hot dogs and corona, not, not a bad mix. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so the coronavirus is fucking spreading across the world. I think it's in at least 48 countries. Uh, Some of these symptoms include having a fever, cough, or shortness of breath. So just take that into account uh, in the coming days and weeks and whatever. Um, Because, you know, you never know. If you start running a fever and it leads to a cough and you're you're having a shortness of breath, you might have what is referred to as COVID-19. All right, COVID-19, AKA the coronavirus, originated in China, in mainland China, uh, in the Wuhan region. That's why it was originally uh, labeled the Wuhan uh, virus or whatever the fuck. And I'm really glad that that one's disappeared because there, there's there been some, one of the awful things, and I, this is just like a awful, like humans are awful kind of thing. One of the, the awful things that have sprung out of this, not only uh, have thousands of people been infected with this uh, this f- disease, but also there's been thousands of people that have died from this disease, but there have also been like victims of racist uh, hate crimes and attacks and like just general misinformation has led to, I feel like Asian Americans, at least I can speak for this, Asian Americans uh, being kind of looked at differently. Which just seems so strange. It's it's wrong. It's absolutely wrong. I'm just gonna say that right now on Old Heart Radio. Old Heart Radio uh, is not down with racists, and it's not down with those like those people who kind of are like closeted racists. Uh, I'm just you know none none of it. Uh, so this this coronavirus, I, I I read a while like a couple weeks ago that it it had led to. Uh, 
like noticeable percentage decline in sales at like some international districts around the around the U.S. Uh, not that that's like what we should focus on. I'm not Donald Trump over here trying to focus on how much money we're fucking making or how the stocks are doing during the virus. Although it does, it is kind of interesting as like an, an additional thing to notice the like the fluctuation in the market. Um, so just needless to say, call your healthcare professional if you feel like you have a fever, shortness of breath, or cough, because those are the symptoms. Uh, reality is it spreads person to person. So uh, the virus is thought to spread mainly from person to person between people who are in close contact with one another. Uh, that's within about six feet. So in this case, you got to make room for God, okay, man? The coronavirus is forcing us apart, people. I want more space than two ugly adolescent teens at a at a junior high dance. All right. <laughs> it's also spread through uh, respiratory droplets produced when an infected person coughs or sneezes. So, so cover your fucking coughs, cover your sneezes. Uh, it's just basic ass shit, and that's what they're telling us. It's like how to easily like try and curb the spread. Just wash your fucking hands, people. Like, I, I, oh my god. Shout out, shout outs, uh, shout outs go to you. Any of you hot dogs who actually listen, thank you. You're amazing. Uh, fucking keep it up. Uh, shout outs to Mariah, Casey, uh, shout outs to Avi, shout outs to, uh, Mojo, Jojo, shout outs to any, like I said, any of you motherfuckers who are listening. Thank you, hot dogs. You're all the best. Uh, and also, shout outs to me. Why? Because, uh, as always, <laughs> I'm fucking amazing. Uh, so, <clears throat> anyway, they're just telling us to, like, wash our goddamn hands, okay? That's all, you know, wash your hands, maybe sanitize some surfaces a little more often, maybe stand six feet apart from people and don't go to crowded areas for a bit. That's fine. It's a lot better than having the shit spread. I read that there's 18 people who have contracted the virus in King County in Washington State where the virus originated, originally uh, appeared in the United States. Uh, and you think about that in a city and how this is spreading and how little people seem to give a fuck about like basic ass hygiene. And so you're just like, oh my God, we're fucking doomed. But that's, that's kind of one of the, the issues going on with this virus as like most things right now. Uh, there's another side of the story that's, that's saying there's so much disinformation misinformation and, and, and backwards fucking facts that have been spreading about this shit that it's hard. It's getting people all worked up. I'm kind of worked up right now. I'm just going to say that. Uh, but that's also, you know, I really don't want to catch the coronavirus. I've listen, I'm an alcoholic who doesn't drink anymore. Okay. I don't want to catch the coronavirus. <laughs> Zing. Okay. Uh, so, you know, it spreads from person to person. So eventually it's going to be, uh, you know, worth it to just not go out for a little bit. I read, uh, a little bit while ago that in Italy, they had, they had basically told 50,000 people to stay home, which is insane. Uh, it's, it's just, it's interesting. It's spreading. Uh, it's definitely spreading through the United States, which sucks, but it's reality. It's, uh, it's spread like rapidly through China where it originated. South Korea has a high case, uh, case number as well as a climbing case number in, in places like Italy and Iran and fucking 48 countries around the goddamn globe. So it's out there. I suggest you do what I do and, or like I did and hop on the CDC that's Centers for Disease Control and Prevention website, cdc.gov and like get the information directly from that website or the World Health Organization and look up how best to avoid this shit and uh, start spreading that information. So we got the coronavirus. We've also got a political fucking issue thing going on. We got the presidential race underway. Uh, we've had a few primaries already. We've had, uh, had a number of debates. And we've also, like, we've we've seen misinformation coming from the campaign, coming from both sides, as always. Uh, 
So I'm just going to get this out of the way. We all know the ugly truth is that the Republican Party candidate is none other than the great ape himself, Donald J. Trump. God damn, I hate that motherfucker. Uh, I think I, I think there's a lot of people that do, and that's all right. Um, whatever, put your hatred aside for a second. The guy will be beat in 2020. Let's just say it. Let's commit to it. He will be kicked out of the White House in tw- in uh, 2021, I guess, technically. <laughs> but there's been a number of Democratic candidates that have come and gone. Uh, some I miss, like Kamala Harris. Uh, but there's been a few remaining. And in, here in Washington, I'm just going to apply this to Washington. We uh, have our primary on March 10th. I've already voted. I suggest if you're a voting age... Get online, double check, if you haven't gotten your ballot, double check your address. It's really fucking simple in this state, people. If you don't do it, you're just an asshole. So get online if you don't have your ballot. Check for your, check it to make sure they're sending it to your right address. Uh, if you have your ballot, fill it out and turn it in. Um, the thing is, though, you kind of want to wait a little closer. Like, I knew who I was going to vote for. Uh, I was obviously, I'm, I vote for, I'm voting for my man, Bernie Sanders. Uh, yeah, at least, you know. Go get them burned. Um, <clears throat> but there's been a number of uh, candidates that have come and gone. And with the primary on March 10th, you don't want to vote too early if you're still kind of in flux. But right now, the field has been limited severely. We have, uh, we've, let's see, Michael Bennett's no longer on there. He's in the, this This is all in the Washington State voter pamphlet. And this is why I'm telling you to beware. Uh, because uh, throwing away your vote on somebody like Michael Bennett is a fucking waste. Uh, Corey Booker's no longer in the race. John Delaney's no longer in the race. Uh, Tulsi Gabbard, I don't know if she's still in the race. Amy Klobuchar just uh, qu- uh, quit this today. Uh, Deval Patrick's not in the race. My man Bernie Sanders is. Tom Steyer uh, is gone. Elizabeth Warren's still in the race. And Andrew Yang is no longer in the race. So there's a handful of people uh, that are. Elizabeth Warren, Joseph Biden, uh, Michael Doomberg, uh, and Bernie Sanders. They're all still running. Even Pete Buttigieg dropped out recently. Which was so funny to me because just the other day, a sea of white people. Not a sea. like I'd say like honestly maybe 25 white people had a Pete Buttigieg rally right before his him announcing that he's like stopping his campaign and you know Buttigieg I think has some great uh ideals that he could bring to politics in this country but uh you know it's not for the president not for the presidency this time and you know I'm just saying whatever comes about from this presidential camp uh, election it will be Donald Trump leaving the fucking White House I really hope that. I really think we a lot of us hope that. So go out there and and vote, motherfuckers. Um, This has been another episode of Coffee and Contemplation. It's been your uh, current events catch-up for all you hot dogs. Thank you for listening. Go out there, ripen up that coconut as best you can because every day's a goddamn good day for it. And keep your stick on the ice.